welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekend reading for April 23rd through the 25th. Let's see what's going on with Leo. At the heart of your reading, we have the Magician reversed. You are exploring the concept of manifestation. You're wondering about how it works, how you can put it to your advantage, what are the different methods. You're, you're studying it somehow. You might just be feeling it out on your own. You might be listening to YouTube videos about manifestation. You might be reading books, articles. And I think it's because there's something that you really want that you haven't yet been able to manifest. Show me the challenge. Four of Swords in reverse. It might be that you're not spending enough time um, clearing your mind, getting into a, a meditative state of mind. Um, Four of Swords can be withdrawing from distraction. This might say that you're um, For some of you, I'm getting that it's like um, just a very busy life, constant stimulation, like always reading a book or scrolling on your phone or responding to emails or on the phone with someone or dealing with someone like per in-person responsibilities. And then it's like that all through the day and then fall asleep. And you're like in the midst of all that wondering, well, why can't I manifest what I want? And... The challenge is um, having enough time and space to quiet your mind. Um, typically, this would indicate alone time. Four of Swords is like withdrawing from distractions. And it can also be meditative. So in the reverse, it could be like not enough time to meditate or get into a calm, peaceful state of mind where you can listen for um, communication from spirit. Your focus is on the star energy, which is, um, what is my purpose? I want to do something more meaningful in my life. What is my destiny? Hmm. Show me the recent past. What led up to this for Leo? The world. Oh, a big change in your life. You decided to make a big change, leave a lot of the things of your old life behind, and start writing a whole new chapter for yourself. That's exciting. It's like you're manifesting the new you. The energy of the environment is the Three of Swords, which are painful memories from the past. Why are painful memories from the past helpful to you in this situation? That could be why you don't want to be alone with your thoughts. You might be looking for ways to constantly stimulate your mind so that you don't have to think about things that were painful. 
And in doing so, you're not allowing yourself enough time to have that quietness of the soul, quietness of the mind to allow inspiration in that's going to help you manifest things in your life. So what Spirit is trying to get you to do is first acknowledge and deal with whatever these heartbreaking slash painful memories are. Once you can do that, that will open up a more peaceful state of mind. You'll be more comfortable being alone with your thoughts and spirit will be better able to communicate with you. In the near future, we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Oh, uh, I don't always get this for the, the Knight of Cups reversed, but it's coming through pretty strong. I think for most of you, this is an apology. Justice in reverse, something that just wasn't right, something that was unfair, you were treated unfair, unfairly, or this, this could be you apologizing to someone else. Your surprise energy, we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. This is releasing or being released from something that you'd clung tightly to because it was familiar, because it was comfortable, because it provided you with a sense of security. Give me more on the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you just didn't see any other way forward up until now. Eight of Swords reversed, or someone else didn't. Um, it could be like uh, this Knight of Cups reversed could connect with that apology if this is like, I didn't see that I was holding you back. I'm so sorry that I was um, keeping you tied to me and my needs and... Now I see how what I did and the way I behaved with you was actually holding you back, limiting you in some way. Your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Pentacles. It's possible that what you're trying to manifest for yourself and this f next phase of your new life, you know, because we have the world here starting like a new phase of your life, um, is a new job that holds more meaning, more purpose for you. What am I going to do next for a profession? Or Eight of Pentacles isn't necessarily profession, um, but it, it could be like a, an important hobby to you, something that takes up a lot of your time and attention. It's like... Um, what do you what do you get your hands busy with? Um, whatever activity you do, it's it's something tangible and it's something you you want to enjoy yourself. You you want to spend your time in an enjoyable way, but also in a way that allows you to tap into your own uniqueness and likely allows you to share that unique quality with the world. Show me the end result. How do these energies resolve for Leo? Queen of Wands reversed. Before you share anything with the world, it's going to be just for you. This spark that you're trying to ignite within yourself, you're going to succeed, but it's not initially for the purpose of fame or fortune. It's for you. It's something precious and private.
Give me more on the Queen of Wands. Ten of Swords. You're going to be able to release these painful memories. You're going to be done with them, but you're going to be in, in process of. Um, if you were totally done with them at the resolution, we would have seen it come out reversed. So you're going to, like I said, uh, ignite the spark within. Feel like you're growing that special quality of uh, inspiration, motivation, something unique about you. It's going to help your self-confidence, but it's not going to be something that you broadcast to the world until you reconcile these painful thoughts and memories. That's going to be on the way out as this new fiery energy is on the way in. Let's get you some advice. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Again, like take all the time you need with this. S similar energy to, um, I don't know how many days ago that was, a couple of days ago, I think. Um, this phase of your life is a marathon, not a sprint. And it's not about, it's just as much about the, the journey and the process as it is about the destination. So whenever you need to pause, consider a change of direction, that's completely fine. That's built into your soul's plan, the journey you're meant to be taking here. So empower yourself to pause and consider changing direction whenever you want to. Leo, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you back on Sunday for the weeklies. Bye.